showing you how to wash your English girth. Whoa! Whoa! What is it? Whoa! What on girth is that? Like I said, girth. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Don't need no credit card to rob my main vein. It's long and it's hard, but it's girthy all night. But it might just change your wife. That's the power of girth. Yo, yo, yo. It's Goldtooth. Welcome to Goldtooth Game, and I hope you're all doing good. So, I've got a few pickups for you today. An exchange that I did with another tuber. Something else a little bit different. But, let me start off by saying, so I've been out and about to a game shop today. Looking around the games. All was going fine, it looked like they've got some good stock. So, why didn't I get anything from there, may you ask? Right, well I saw these three guys come in. I don't know what type of guys you can call them. For now, I'll call them the unwashed. Right, so... I'm at one side of the shop, I see these guys come in. Guys look like they definitely fucking needed a bath from a million miles away. Big, long, scraggly beards. Not the same length. Not trimmed to the top lip. It looked like ass hair, pube hair, horse hair. Is there any need to have it that scruffy on your face? Shape it, tidy it up, get it looking good. That wasn't my beef. The walk by me, the smell of a combination between baby sick and vinegar. That were it. So as I walked by me, I just stopped in my tracks and says, one of your farted or what? Then, this is a mentality, they'll sort of like tapping each other. Uh, you farted, it must be you that's farted, it's you that's farted, you farted. Uh. Is there any need not to get a bath or a shower? Do you know, even for these people that are homeless, they can occasionally get to get a shave or a wash, but these guys just think it's cool. They think it's cool to have balls smelling like sarsen's vinegar. Do you know, <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, that shop lost quite a bit of money because I wasn't spending nothing in there. The smell was unbelievable. I can't even explain. But yeah, if you're watching this, sort them fucking beards out. I don't even know what's going on. Get yourself a bath. Get yourself a shower. Use fucking something with it as well. Soap or shower gel because fuck me, dudes. It ain't cool. Definitely not cool. So, after I've got that rant out of the way, because I couldn't buy an alt from that shop. Boof! This come in the post today. I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to receive it. My Sega Mania, issue three. And it comes with a CD on this one. So if you look, it's kind of clever. I've done it so Mega CD tray is open. And it looks like it's got a disc in it, which I suppose it kind of has. And it's a soundtrack on it. So yeah, I didn't think that were ever going to come. I'll be honest. But yeah... It's got here eventually. Now, Scott at Marathon Gaming, you would have seen him on one of my intros a few videos ago, a couple of videos ago. Funny guy, he's nominated for YouTuber of the Month. And regarding YouTuber of the Month, go check it out. I'll leave a link to Generation Pixels video where he'll leave links to the channels that's nominated. Go check out every channel and then leave a vote for who you feel should be worthy of YouTuber of the month but yeah Scott Marathon Gaming is nominated and I sent him something and he sent me something so he sent me Splathouse on the Xbox 360 I've got that on the PS3 and I haven't played that game for about 10 years and I used to absolutely love it and I don't know if it still plays as good as I remember so what I'm going to do, I will do a 10 minute video on this, maybe 15, whatever, just play it, have a talk through, do a weird commentary through it and just see if it does live up to how I remember. But yeah, that wasn't the best bit about this game. So I opened it up just to check because you know, I've got to have instructions that it had. It's only sent me that inside. <laughs> 
What a cheeky devil. See, that were funny. That were funny. Someone's opened it up. I'm like, what the fuck? Have a posh one on me. Crazy. But I will let him know that he didn't pack a Magnum XL. That ain't even going to get around tip at helmet. But yeah, the thought's there. So Scott Marathon Gaming, keep sexy, buddy. Poof. Right. So, I picked up these two. 128 gig SD cards. So I've got another for the GameCube because it's Xeno chips. That's got 128 gig in at the minute and it's full of games. So I'm going to build a full another card, fill that full of games. So that should do me for my GameCube, get 256 gigs worth of games. Then I've got another because I've ordered some parts for another console. I will be doing the same very, very shortly. So keep eyes out on for what system I've got that for. Right now I've got a game for only on Xbox and that is Kung Fu Chaos. And that does look really funny. Whether or not it is, I don't know. It's hard to judge, but it says get your funk on with a 70s soundtrack featuring Kung Fu fighting and the theme from Enter the Dragon, Bruce Annerley. Oh, motherfucker, what? So yeah, that does look good, that. Big fight, much attention. Now, this game I'd seen loads and loads of times and I'd avoided it because I thought I'd bought it. Guess not. Sudeke. So and man, that does look really good. And how I haven't picked it up, I honestly, I would have put money on that I already owned it. That's how certain I was that I got that game. But guess not. Now one I've never seen before in public again. That is Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2. And that does look really good. And that is not a cheap game. It's not a mega, mega expensive one, but it's definitely not cheap. Not cheap by a long shot. And yeah, kind of looks alright, that. Now we've got one I thought I'd got again. I haven't. Minority Report. Front back it resembles, for me, Time Splitters. I'm not sure. I'll have to give it a try. But what I will do, I'm going to start playing more. I'm going to start recording more, doing more gameplays. So I should get quite... A few gameplays done, get commentary while I'm playing them, and see from there. Because, yeah, I feel I need to start playing more if I can. And I've got Wings of War. Wings of War, man. Looks alright, is it for me? I'm not sure. But I will definitely give it a try. Now, this one I thought I'd got again. Hitman 2. Silent Assassin. I had to check because I'd already got two of these games. But not this one. Oh no. Now this is another one I thought I'd got again. Mm, I haven't. True Crime, Streets of LA. And I'd seen that loads and loads of times but I never picked it up because I thought I'd got it. And when I look through, I've got True Crime New York I think. Something New York. Now this one I've never seen anywhere and the name sounds really weird, I don't get it. If anybody knows where this name's come from, if it's a street basketball league, I don't know what it is. And one. What the fuck's that about? I don't even know. It looks alright as far as basketball games go, to be fair. It kind of looks a bit like a NBA street, something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, it looks alright. Now this one, I remember from back in the day, but I don't remember much about it at all. And I knew that I did used to like this game, so I just hope it's how, how I remember. So if it is, I'm in for a fun game on that. And that is Dead to Rise, made by Namco. And yeah, shows you a picture of a stripper on back. So you know that's always good and fun. Oh, stripper, stripper. I'm in love with a stripper. Oh, oh. My girl, let's do it, ride it, my girl, yo, my saddle's waiting, come and jump on it, my girl, let's do it. Yo, 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 I don't know where that come from. So everybody, until the next time, 
Stay safe. Stay sexy. Peace.